champion. The bell in round one, Charlo. Get there. Castaño dethroned Patrick to She does that, but now, you know, you can tell that Charlo's just basically looking for Castaño to make him. Gets, uh, he throws wild punches and he opens well, up. Yeah, I, don't, I, I wouldn't go so far. You pressure fighter who is still surprisingly defensively responsible as he lands that lead right, right hand. I was just about to say, Castaño has to oh, oh, but Charlo countered him and clipped him in between oh. these shots. An efficient attack from Jamal Charlo. Good for Jamal Charlo. And it's all wondered what would be the counter punch of choice would it be this straight round? Like we are seeing here tonight. Yeah, this division has certainly shown that. Do the same thing. Yeah, it's exactly right. And jab to the body. We saw what happened in the eighth against Rosario. Now Castaño closing the distance. Clips from Charlo with the oh. left. He got himself on the rope. He covered. He tried to counter. He tried playing peach. Charlo along the ropes. Castaño midway point. Charlo has already took Charlo's best punch, which is the hook. And he said, well, yeah, I took it. I almost, you know. Oh, yeah. oh, and the fourth, they tee off on each other. Castaño comes back now. There's a left hook to the body and right in another. Castaño has Charlo in the corner. Unloads the left and right. There's a movement. Charlo unloads the one, two. Oh, but then it's Castaño. Charlo wanting to bait. And, and, and Castaño, um, Castaño has to pressure a little bit more. Work the body. You're in the uh, Castaño's that right body shot. He gets the attention of Charlo. Counter attack by Castaño. There was a left hook up that missed for Charlo. Good head movement. All show stats indicate that Castaño throwing more and landing more. Castaño manages to snipe a jump forward. Misses with the left hook. Counter shot lands for Charlo. Fans on their feet. And you might hurt Jamel. Charles did a better job there of Great job. He knows how to be good. He, he goes back. Picking up the volume with 30 seconds left in the six before Castaño comes back. We're going to Derek James about the uh, languishing on the ropes and eating shots like this from attempting to crown the first undisputed. Well, the jab was able to pierce through there a few times, but Castaño now returning fire. The hands go. He's really effective when he does that. And that jab scores for Charlo, splits the guard. Two plays per round. Some will argue, you know, what ones are effective, but. For Jamel Charlo, what less than 20% of his attack is to the body. Yeah, he's not a body puncher. For Charlo to throw the jab to counter on top, just as he did. Leads with the right. In a bunch of different directions. And there, according to our. Castanio use oh, oh see there's the jab. right hand and the left hook badly in round two with that left hook and I'll tell you oh nice right by Castanio it somehow I want to say shot that you know there was a he, nice he only lands a little over two around but he used a good round for Brian Castanio leading to what is the biggest fight of both of or if you touch with the jab let your right hand go. Oh, oh Castaño just underneath that sweeping yeah. left hook. A short uppercut that he usually sets up, especially against aggressive fighters like that. To march forward, Charlo on the ropes. Castaño with some blistering combinations. And Charlo... Judges might be seeing that. Well, oh. Steve Farb sees it as that right hand moment. Pot shotting with the jab as Charlo Castaño closes. It's great advice. He's been unable to really implement it and now beginning to stairs lands for Castaño. Right hand clips the jaw. Now Charlo oh, yeah. sitting down and marching. And it's the right hand that Mo talked about. And there's another right hand that hurt him. Left hook him. Oh, oh left hook. That's right. Yeah, you saw yeah. that. He missed. Oh, another with right hand lands for Charlo. Another right Round 11. Normally, Castaño is a big finisher, but not this round. That right hand, he's ready. Now he's he's looking like himself. And he's listening on Castaño on Steve Farhood's unofficial scorecard. That Charlo ready to unload that. Oh, neat left hook right hand by Castaño. Pedigree championship heart on display in San Antonio. This is going to be a really interesting round for both. Castaño just has to go in front of Charlo, trying to get close to Here comes Castaño, trying to close the distance. Oh, my. Oh, left, that hook. left hook by Castaño of tonight's main event. And time.
for him to close the gap in this round. Oh, nice body work by Castaneda. Of course, Buda Championship at 154 at stake. See, Jamal Charlo. Uh, decision is a split decision draw. There will be no undisputed champion 